Do you ever just sit back and think that every person you walk past on the streets, everyone you meet in the supermarket, sit next to on the train, or even argue with on Twitter, has a life of their own? They have dreams, they have aspirations, they have a family, they're going through the same trials and tribulations of life as you are. They all have a story. You see, stories and other people's emotions and feelings are what drive us. A book wouldn't be interesting if it was all just beautiful imagery with no substance. And the same thing goes for a video. You can have all the best shots in the world shot on the highest end camera equipment, but if you don't have any meat to back up the shots, then what you're essentially going to end up with is a stock footage showreel. And, I mean, who's going to want to watch that? Take Casey Neistat, for example, and I mean this by absolutely no disrespect, I'm a massive fan of Casey's, but if you actually watch one of his videos, they aren't conventionally beautiful. He hasn't spent hours lighting an area, touching and retouching every part of the scene so that it's picture perfect. Generally speaking, the camera is awkwardly balanced on a wall while he talks to it in an often loud and busy environment. So why does it work? Well, because his style of filmmaking suits his style of storytelling. The thing we're seeing is just as eclectic and fast paced as the story and the way that he's telling it. This is why all the nice stack copycats are so painful to watch because they shoot the videos in the same way, but they don't have the story chops to actually back it up. Now I've been doing a lot of thinking about storytelling lately, mainly because it's something that I've really struggled with in the past. You see, I really enjoy the process of creating films. I love looking at images, trying to work out what the best way to light them is, the composition, all of the color grading aspects and everything like that. That's the sort of thing that I focus on because that's just the way my brain works. It wants everything to look good. But you see, occasionally that can be at the detriment of a good story because I spend so much time focusing on all of those minute details that the actual story of the video can occasionally be pushed to the side. Now one thing that I personally fell for is what I like to call one dimensional filmmaking, which is the process of making a video where the person in the video just describes what the viewers can see on the screen. So for example, I'd go to a really cool location, I'd say that I was in a cool location, and then I'd say, I'm going to fly my drone, and then there'd be drone footage. Or for example, I'd say, I'm going to eat some dinner, and then you'd see some b-roll of me cooking dinner, and then I'd say, now I'm eating dinner. There's nothing really going on there, there's no real substance to it. But you see plenty of videos like this on YouTube, and I think the reason is, creating a sense of story is incredibly hard. So, as a tip for budding filmmakers and content creators, there are billions of people out there all living their individual stories. Why are they going to care about you coming home and eating dinner? They've also probably just come home and eating dinner, that's not going to be interesting for them. They also aren't going to care where you are or what you're doing. Just listing off the events of your day isn't going to make for entertaining content. Shooting gorgeous cinematic drone footage or stunning scenery may leave your audiences in awe, but it isn't going to make them emotionally invested in you. What will interest people is your feelings, your emotional response to things, your thoughts and opinions on topics that you care about, because that's what separates you from everyone else. Anyone with enough money can go to a cool place, jump off a rock into the ocean or buy a supercar, but that one dimensionality will only last so long. If you want people to care about you as an individual, then you need to make sure that they know you and your stories. 